Good evening, everybody. We're here on Al Basra tonight. We're going to pit the USA against the insurgents. My name's the Muff Bandit. I'm here with CMYK Matter, and this Going is Squad on. Ops. Hey, Lucas, you'll, you'll be checking. Yes, it is. Uh, this is Operation Stampede, event. and it turns just into that with the uh, U.S. defending four FOB locations throughout the map. The insurgents have to destroy two of them in Exville, the village. That's basically the, the this, uh, event in a nutshell. It's going to be good to go. Everyone's just joined in. We're going to have a full server, like 38 on 38, 39 on 39, something like that. Just us two commentators that aren't playing. And yeah, the, uh, the good news is with a full server like this, we don't have to scale it down at all. We get all four of the FOB locations and both of the QRF FUMVs. So that's going to be really exciting to see. Yeah, it will be. Lots of vehicle action. Pretty much a bum rush by the insurgents with relentless artillery coming in to suppress. These, this is always a good match. It, it was interesting today, too, in the first event. It was a crazy that insurgents actually got their first win. Absolutely. That was a big surprise for us, anyway. I know I was on the team that lost to the insurgents, and that was not fun. All right. It looks like we got an audio echo. Yeah. We'll fix that quick. But uh, let's see. There's not a lot of restrictions for this. I guess the locations that the U.S. can put their fobs are marked. They get four they can choose from. They've marked their, I believe, where they're going to put their fobs. That's kind of Delta 5 keypad 1 and Delta 4 keypad 6. Not sure what the insurgents plan is. That's always fun to watch that unfold. So it'll be great to watch this happen. They'll have vehicles. They'll probably make some vehicle bound IEDs and stuff like that. So it can get real interesting real quick. For the most part, the U.S. are going to sit back and relax and then wait for contact from the insurgents and hell's going to break loose. So it's going to it's going to be quiet for a minute and then get crazy. That's what I like to see. It always gets a little little nuts early and then uh, things kind of, you know, slow down. Oh, yeah. Over here on the U.S., they're still dividing their teams up. But this is a good time. I'll, I'll talk about my team. I have got a command, XBit. He is very familiar with this operation. I believe he had a hand in writing it. I'm not 100% there. Yes, he did, actually. This is yeah. his baby. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he's obviously the favored uh, in this matchup tonight. But his squad leaders, uh, we've got a bunch of great squad leaders tonight. They've all done it plenty of times. They're experienced, both willing to help everybody. Right, we've got Kirkley, Creeping, Satan, and Odessa for us. And Absolutely. I just want to point out all the squad names that we've got. We've got fire, earth, air, water, and then like pilot, leader, planet, or whatever. And so I'm heart. They they made me name my squad heart. <laughs> you're the you're the heart of the team flying yep, around right. above, right? I'm up here. I'm their angel looking over them. You know, absolutely. Right up top here. Uh, what do you got over there? What are the insurgents defending with? Who's who's running the show? Yeah, we've actually got a relatively inexperienced squad lead, or commander on this side, Nasty Nate. This is only his second time commanding, and we'll see how he does with that. He's got some pretty experienced squad leads under him, though. Best Pony, Google Trex, Tedish, and Mighty. So all guys who have done it a million times before, and they, they know the deal. So he can trust in his squad leads, and that's really what's important. Oh, yeah. Stray Dog had it good. open in two tabs, I'm guessing. There he is. in Discord and Chrome. That's funny. That's awesome. Chelsea Bot giving a, giving a heart for Google Tracks. Yeah, Absolutely. He Chelsea deserves Bot it. Says, she says she knows him. Yeah, might know that guy. All right, actually, Nasty Nate's about to do his briefing. Maybe we can get in here and, and listen to that. Yeah, let's do I think it's always better to hear the attack inside yeah. plan. We're, we're about to get going on the U.S., but we'll, we'll always follow the insurgent side attack again. Oh, Shadow Ritual's missing an op. Yeah, the Empire's not in here tonight, huh, Shadow Ritual? Right here, marked with red and fob. So our plan is to load up in that thing. All right, let's listen to this. With all our technicals, and we're going to just bonsai charge the shit out of this place. But we're, before we get to there, we're going to stop towards Village. 
around this marker, dismount all the troops, and push in from there under Dishka fire. Uh, from there, uh, after we successfully cap that point, we're going to swing around through the south, through the cover of the fields uh, from village, um, and uh, occupy village from there, and then we're going to attack the northern fob at the Bravo 5 location. Right here. So village is going to be kind of our staging point for the next attack, and from there we're going to try to flank them and surround that uh, area entirely. Our kind of plan is just to attack them as, as aggressively as fucking possible, pretty much. Hit them with speed. So when it comes to breaching into that compound, I want you guys to all charge in there. Fearlessly, don't get into poke battles, don't slow down, just keep up the speed. Does that sound clear? Ooh, fucking right. Yep. Uh, Alright, squad leaders, go ahead and break them out. Let's get nasty, boys. Awesome. Alright, so we just heard Nasty Nate in there talking about what their plan is. And it seems like they are going to absolutely bum rush the fob that is located at the Delta 5 area. And then after that, kind of restage in village and then push out to the Bravo 5 fob just north of that. So it seems like they're going to be trying to just go in hard and fast and see if they can take it out. And that was the strategy earlier today for one of our earlier sessions. Didn't work out so well for the people bum rushing, sadly. Hey, that's all right. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm excited. They're getting ready to rock. All right, Kirk, or Expit's just starting his brief. We got the U.S. lined up all nice and pretty over here. Yeah, let's listen in. And four are going to be putting down FOPs also, but you only get a ticker supply, so whatever you put down uh, is going to be based off the time on the FOB. Squads two and, uh, I'm sorry, squads one and four are also getting assigned to Humvees, like I said. So they will be the QRF if squads, if some of the other checkpoints take contact. So uh, driver gunners of those vehicles, be aware, you'll be moving around a lot. The enemy gets a whole bunch of different technicals. We don't know what they're going to throw at us. Uh, they could bring VBITs, they could have rocket artillery, they could have SPG, discotechies. We don't know. Our main goal is to hold these four checkpoints. If the enemy overtakes that two of them, meaning that we've lost two of our four FOB radios, we need to engage them in village. That's where we think they're going to go hide out after they attack us. So it's a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple plan here. Just hold out at these four checkpoints. Uh, more likely, one squad or one checkpoint is going to get rushed pretty hard. So if it's you, good luck. That's all I got, guys. You're soon, uh, your uh, squad leaders and fire team leads will have further instructions for you. Um, Squad leaders, why don't we go ahead and sort the vehicles out, get them lined up, and make sure everybody's got a ride to where they're going. Is there any questions? Uh, yes, I do. So you're saying once two fobs are down, instantly everyone should just rush to village, or...? That's up to... Yeah, that's, let's, just, let's just listen to your squad leader, fire team lead. If there's no command comms left, that's where you should be gathering, or going to the nearest commander, or, you know, squad leader, whatever. But Copy. that's where the insurgents are supposed to head back to. This village. Will we get old when two fobs go down? Oh yeah, yeah. You'll see it on the map. They'll be missing. All right, guys, go ahead and break them out, squad leads. Let's get set. Good luck, have fun, everybody. All right, Bravo one in. Sorry, Alpha. One in. Kind of gonna do uh, preview fob. All right. Well, the U.S. is basically just gonna kind of spread out and do the best they can to hold these locations it's really interesting get, to see yeah they're gonna get two humvees two open top humvees to take with them probably see them utilized pretty well as a mobile turret yeah i always like to see that qrf kind of you know come into play would two and three get the trans oh never mind We'll see. All the insurgents here have lined up all of their technicals, all pretty like they're getting ready to convoy them out of here. And then they are going to make that hard push. 
I don't think that they're worrying about motorcycles or anything this time, actually. They said that they're not going to worry about it. They've got all the vehicles they need, and they're just going to use these as they go. I don't even know that they're doing any V-Bids. If you don't know what a V-Bid is, that is a vehicle-bound improvised explosive device. So, yeah. It's pretty interesting to see. They're just going to try to rush it. Yeah, it'll be good. And, you know, if they can stay on their toes and keep pushing, then they'll they'll bust in and they'll take out one of them checkpoints quicker than heck, you know? And well, yeah, especially. Really fast and especially since the US. U.S. has to spread out, you know? They have to spread out four squads, basically, to cover these four fobs. So, yep. unless they're going to forfeit one. All right, yeah, let's go over cameras. Since we got this second, we're going to tell you guys about the real true heroes of this stuff. Uh, I'll read them off to you. These are the guys that you're going to get the first person looks from. And uh, we'll switch to them real quick for you, too. Hey, crazy Russian. Google tricks. Truth realm. Give a talk the vehicles in the Mr. Mighty. He's a squad leader. So is Google Trucks. Okay, here's the uh, next one is it's crispy. We're gonna get quick up to the middle intersection. Fuck either way. followed by Best Pony. Or you jump in the vehicle. Next is Jay Remick. I'm gonna get my nod out. Han Solo. Guys, in trance, he's going to drop you off at our location and then get the rest of his squad over to his spot. Finally, a big yes. We're not in Kansas anymore. Those are the guys out there, boots on the ground, making it work, giving you all the really cool angles while we fly above. Yeah, we and let's kind of show you the overview, call out the stuff that we see. But those are the guys that really get their get their boots dirty. I like to see them. I like seeing all those little first-person cameras. They're very intense. Give you. A, general scope of how the action's going you know somebody pinned down behind a wall gunshots raining in above them looks pretty okay from up here but when we go into those first person views you, you realize that they're really pinned down <laughs> alright we're live in about 30 seconds here 35 seconds live at 124 absolutely and we'll see this INS convoy getting ready to roll out and we'll see what happens can I get you to hit, can I get you to flip me spots for the lead techie? Four for four. Chelsea bot saying Google gets his boots very dirty. It's actually quite frustrating. Tell him to wipe those off before he comes in. Otherwise, he has to sleep outside. That's what you do. <laughs> All right, we are going at live soon. Absolutely, this is exciting. There we go. We are live. Let's see where these U.S. go. They've got their two lodgies. In, no, one lodgie in the front with a transport behind it. Another lodgie following. That's Satan. I think he's squad air. They're going to head to the eastern side. Creeping's taking his squad south. They've got a lodgie truck. The Humvee in tow. Absolutely. Rolling out, getting into their positions. They've got a little bit of time before these INS roll up on them. Though the INS are going hard and fast, I think that they've got a little bit oh, of time. Oh, I can see their vehicles coming on the map. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're working their way through the village right now. You can see this lead vehicle here with a couple of guys in it pushing out. I believe this is, is this actually driven by Google. Uh, SM Pure Paradise. All right, Google's in the passenger seat. All right, again, my squad, we're descending on that He's cruising along here, lead vehicle. They're making their way up to Village, and it looks like they're going to use Village as their staging ground. I think that that's what they said. They're basically going to kind of get everybody together in Village, consolidate, and then push. All right, so check out these Dishka technicals as they're rolling up here. Very interesting vehicle. They're not very durable, but they do have a nice, big uh, gun sitting on the back me. of them, as you can see all of them in here. Oh, there's contact already. Opening up. Han Solo opened up on that insurgent force. He's got a saw on the rooftop. He's 
prone and he is laying down laser fire. I don't think he killed me, buddy. But yeah, you can see these dishkas opening up fire. Oh, look at them spread out. The insurgents are very nicely spread out. I wouldn't be I surprised if we saw a slew of smoke grenades thrown away. That's unfortunate. Oh! Pierce. Oh, no! Google Trex goes down! <laughs> he was on oh, the bush oh, and he oh. goes down! No! Oh. Oh. First casualty. And he was team killed! He was oh, team no. killed by. Truth Realm accidentally team killed Google Trex. That's a bummer. Oh, no! That's so unfortunate I'm so sad. right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeti, that support by fire, absolutely. Using those Dishka technicals to lay down belts upon this fob here. Oh, here comes see it. here comes a whole squad. Looks like it's a... Uh, I don't even know. I think it's Best Pony Squad, but Best Pony fell through the map. Here it comes. We've got a couple a couple down. One guy down, at least. Bacon Nation goes down to the arty. Oh, that RPG hit right that beside Rival Helicopter. Yeah, there's some bleeding. Creeping's bleeding. There's some guys hurting. Han Solo really help. hurt and bleeding. All right. I see saloon number 12, tear gun, and Lance Aubrey outside. There, He's hiding. Oh, here comes there. another one. Here comes the push. There's insurgents rushing like crazy from the south right now. Two whole squads pushing across. Oh. They've thrown a bunch of smoke grenades. Pure Paradise, Zoko. Michael Frost, and CG Fu. Checkpoint 2 is just getting overrun. Let's see if they bring any help. See if they see can anybody. get in there. You gotta get past these walls. You can't get stuck on these berms like they're doing right now. You see these guys here. CG oh, Han Solo. Down. Look yeah, at stuck this on these firing berms. line. Oh, I know. Surgeons. This is crazy. I love they're it. Everywhere. Oh, oh my god. Humpy to the north. Oh. Brendan and Sneaky Sniper eat a grenade, but they're okay. They're moving in. Oh, that Humvee should just be mowing up. Oh, oh, it almost goes down. Oh, two rockets barely missed it. The insurgents are relentless right now. They're about to push into the compound proper. They're peeking around the corner, laying down fire. They've lost Grenade. creeping their squad leader. Yes, they have. What do we got? There's PK Ton, Moose, Rival Helicopter, and Game Master Me. Are the only four Sneaky left? Sniper. No, X bit's in there. Oh, the command X bit is in there. They Sneaky are sniper and, and gaming help. Brendan about to push here too. Oh, X bit's trapped in here. He's he's almost to where he can't run or he'll get killed. There's nades being thrown. X bit's peeking out. He's got the entire insurgent. Rival army helicopter goes down. X bit taking like shot. Tedish is about to peek in from the east side. They've got a full 360 on this thing almost. Oh. oh. Nuke Dukem gets dropped by Tedish. What a He's good shot a from over. him. The Humvee is down. Someone got the Humvee. Thought it got quiet pretty quick there. All right, Jimmy we're down to Xbit and Moose. We've got one more. Moose and, and PK Ton. PK Ton, yep. There's three left. Oh, command down. Xbit is down. That's command. Here it goes. So now just PK Ton and Moose holding down this little building. We're gonna, we're gonna see how they do. Let's get in here and check that. They're getting peeked by Rayti. Oh. Oh, so much peeking here. Moose is looking hard. PK Ton's on the stairs. Kahuna's coming in. Racine takes him out. Down goes Racine. Moose Rayti still up in Kahuna that corner. Outside. Moose just hugging that corner. He's clear. Kahuna's going in, and down he goes. That's it. That's it. That's one checkpoint destroyed by the insurgents with nothing but sheer force right there. They just pushed it. <laughs> didn't stop. That was beautiful. That was great. They already took out the fob that was located here in this building, so that's one of them. They now just need to take out the other fob, and I believe they're going to be pushing on this one that's up to the north that the disc is firing at currently, trying yeah. to soften them up. It's up to the northeast. You're on Jay Rimmick now. He could be. Yeah, what are we doing? yeah he's in the one there. that's actually to the northwest. He's just kind of hiding out. The dish is firing in on them. Right. Well, the insurgents are happy with that push. They kicked butt. You know, they took fewer casualties in the U.S. right there. So, absolutely. Very, very good job. 
this is the objective you're looking at here. These FOB radios, they stand for Forward Operating Base, and they allow the deployment of all kinds of buildable structures, sandbags, HESCO walls, things of that nature, general ways that you can get a lot of different buildables up and try to fortify a location. So that's what you're looking at for the objective. And speaking of this objective, the, the U.S. have got a little bit of placement action now. They've got some sandbags. I see some placements with 50 caliber guns in them. They have got a little better chance at, at holding off this bush. Plus, there's not a giant field for the insurgents to cross. Now, I believe they can cross this water on foot. I'm not 100% positive. Yeah, vehicles have to use bridges, but infantry can cross anywhere. I think so, yep. They want to the avoid problem... deep water, though, because that'll yeah. hurt them. Deep water is fire in this game. It's lava, you know. <laughs> oh, we can see this arty techie rolling in, trying to get itself in position. I wonder if they're going to try to use it to actually soften up that northern fob locale. Oh, I'm sure they will. Here. It works very well. It's the best suppression. Everyone will have their heads down. They won't be able to see anything. That's all you want from it. You're not really trying to get kills. It's nice if you get kills, but... Just keeping people's heads down, keeping them in buildings. So you can see Mighty there on your screen, driving, Burzing, hanging out with them. Getting themselves in position to assault that northern fob. And there's only about six or seven U.S. soldiers here in this northwestern compound. This they is do have be... that Humvee, though. Yeah, the Humvee's up to the northeast a little bit, patrolling. I was at the other compound. There's a lot better defense there with Odessa squad and Satan squad there, I believe. So this is Kirkley's guys. We'll see how they do. Not a lot of defense here. They didn't get a... Obviously didn't get a Lodge truck. Yeah, this Humvee trying to patrol and keep some, keep some general uh, defense up to the north. The Humvee itself has a really nice big old 50 cal mounted up on the top of it. It's a really big gun. Whole lot of firepower can come out from this thing. It's not too durable. It can only eat about two RPGs before it goes down, but it's fast. Not quite as fast as a technical, but much faster than, say, your transports or BTRs or anything like that. Really great little vehicle. Also, take a little bit more fire than a dish as well. Or absolutely, technical. absolutely. Yeah, one on one, it'll destroy wall, one honestly. pretty quick. And the right dish is shooting up Kirkley squad. And someone's actually dead. Someone right. went down. Right. Dishka got him. Oh, wow. So that is Burzang on oh, the gun itself. Humvee's going to run right into two Dishka techies right now. Oh. oh. And they're done. That Humvee just got lit up. Oh, 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 and oh. bye bye. Is everybody dead from it? Yep, part-time yeah. Ninja Turtle, Dreadful Decay, dead. They dead. just got wrecked. That is excellent news for the insurgents. They've got Man. nothing but opportunity now. You'll you be able see. to take out this other checkpoint and fall back with no resistance, basically. Yep. They killed twice as These... many guys. Wow. That's amazing. You know, that wolf pack that they formed up with those dishkas was fantastic. Now they're using the SPG techie as well to lay in fire on it. Boogie and SM Pure Paradise, man, and that thing, laying in SPG fire on that base. So they're softening it up before they push in. I'd like to see that. Yep, they used the dishka to finish it off. Good work. So there's, there's the not thing a lot about of movement this. going on at all by the other squad. It's all just Kirkley's squad by itself. Absolutely. And this is what's going to really hurt the U.S. They can't, they're not all fortified in one or two areas. They all spread out. They put one squad in each mm -hmm. area. So they really took a beat. Now that they've lost and both their Humvees, it's really going to affect it. Squad three over there to the east only has that Lodgy, which can only carry, what, four people? So it's not like they can even ferry that many people over there, though they do have the transport to the far east but that would take quite a bit of time and i don't think yeah, there the are other are wanting to wait that long j remix down he just took himself a, a gl on gl combat and he lost wow or no it couldn't have been because they don't have a gl 
Yeah, that's true. I don't know. See the oh, he took an SPG shot. That's what happened. Oh, wow. We see the insurgents pushing across this little land bridge here, getting themselves into position to make an actual assault. It's going to be three technicals on the west as well. Absolutely. SPG techie on the bridge. They, oh, they're right there opening the up with those dishkas. Yeah. Mighty there, driving, opening up. Mighty driving, Bursang on his gun, getting them into position, making sure that they can just lay down all kinds of hell to cover for that push that you see coming from the right there. And see all those guys pushing in. Full squad, just just southwest of Kirkley's guys. Burzang Plus pushing some. up here, getting ready to fire in some RPGs. Here come the smoke grenades. See if he gets any good hits on with these RPGs from the west. We'll see. And Kirkley did say on command chat that he's getting pushed from the west and south. Look at this spread on the assault from the insurgents. Look at that spread that they came out of that compound with. RPGs going in. Shots going in. Dishka's laying down support fire. Dishka Techie's sweeping in from the north. Two of them on the wolf pack laying down support fire. This is amazing. Megas Arcadis just team killed Tedish on accident. Then All right. Good job. Dangerous. Good job. <laughs> The smoke, the assault happening. They made it to the walls, and now is the important part of the push. You got to get past come, those walls. Grenades coming in. There's a lot of insurgents left. I'm sure there's plenty of grenades and smoke grenades to be thrown. And there's only what four U.S. here still alive. They have got a bunch of sandbags. Nasty Nate, command pushing around, and he gets taken out. Command is down now, for both teams. Xbit went down early. Nasty Nate just got down. All right, Kirkley is reporting that they are surrounded. There went an IED. Didn't kill anybody though. They would have killed. Oh, look me. at these insurgents! Look at them <laughs> swarming. Oh gosh, Lucid's Lucid's got him. He sees him. Oh, they're hitting each other, and Pure Paradise takes out Lucid after getting hit. Lucas goes down as well. Holy cow, they're, Miyamoto they're goes kidding. down. There's insurgents everywhere. I think that's it, actually. That's all for the U.S. here, aren't they? The entire U.S. team is wiped out here. This is going. And the fob uh, is gone. The, the fob is gone. gone. Yep, it was in this southern little room that they had there, and that is gone. They're going to be heading back no time. Yep. So, that is it, actually. That's their objective finished. Is it not? Yeah, they that took is, out two, so that's, that's it. it. Yep. All they need gonna... to do now is pull back to village, and then they just have to hang out there while the U.S. have to attack. And the U.S. are coming. They jumped in the transport. They're going to actually flank from the south. I got that yeah, Turner here, dead. Laying dead. He's got downed, yep. He was just hanging out up here, I guess. He was kind of the, the last man watching this disc attacky, and he got taken out when Red pushed up there. I'm coming in on this transport, and I think it's got a few U.S. in it. Or maybe the not. Insurgents. Maybe the insurgents coming mounting the up south. as many people as they can. They're it's coming in from the south, huh? Yeah, and it's Odessa's squad, I believe. Yeah, they're actually going to push into village from the south on foot. Huh. They're mounting yeah, they, up as they many know, people. They realized they had lost their other checkpoints, so they're heading back. Yeah. Well, you can see it on the map. Exactly. Yep. Now the insurgents shoving past across this land bridge. Oh, no. Oh, no. They lost the dish techie down in the water. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, uh, they got it, they got it. It's on fire, but it's okay. It's on fire, but it's all right. 
They nearly lost that thing in the water. What a sketchy cross that was. Yep, vehicles must use Missed bridges. The land so. bridge. All right, so Odessa squad's coming in from the south. All right. The insurgents are kind of... They've gone ahead and got themselves back into into village, and they are just trying to, you know, take this location and just kind of get themselves together, defend while the Americans have to push. So they completed their objective, those fobs we showed you earlier, both of them going down already, and now the insurgents have retreated the village, and they just get to hold it. Now the Americans have to go on the attack. I like yep. this little flip at the end of the op if the insurgents manage to get both of the fobs down. We get a complete role reversal. The U.S. have to try to attack. <laughs> yeah, and there's a, and there's a lot of uh, operations that actually work out that way, too. Oh, and we got shots from the south by the U.S. They're making a lot of noise while the Squad 3 is still trying to transport themselves down here from the eastern side. So we can look for the insurgents to look south now, and we're, they're taking shots back. There's so many buildings here that the U.S. are going to have to try to clear, and, you know, it's so many angles. It's it's a rough grind through this place. Southwest yeah, there's a few guys on the roof that are just prime position. Southwest, guys. Just so many little corners, murder holes. You can see this murder hole right in front of Klein here. Darman pushing up towards here, though. Odessa, a couple other her people moving in. Get some this whole building is occupied by insurgents. <laughs> yeah, Satan's got his squad far east. They're a little farther out, though. They need to push in. Absolutely. I think they held up when they saw the Lodgy trucks up there that the insurgents parked. Ah, uh, they thought maybe it was occupied, but no. Oh, the Dishkateki Truth Realm rolls out and gets shot off of it immediately. And so does Kenneth. That Dishkateki wow. is disabled. That was a uh, was a bad day for that dish Kentucky. Unfortunate. I feel like knowing how much contact they had from the south, I feel like that was kind of a a risky choice to push out like that. It's a risky one, but you know, hey, could have paid off. Didn't in this circumstance. Surgeon's still using all those little windows to shoot through doorways. Absolutely. Tons of different angles for the U.S. to cover as they push in. Darman looks Jackal. like he's gonna head up the stairs to the roof. Jackal takes a little hit here. He has to bandage himself up, get some healing. Darman's just chilling. I see Satan squad still over there to the east. They're coming in on foot. Absolutely. You know. All right. So the U.S. is gonna hold. They're gonna hold the attention to the south while the, the eastern squad tries to push in. They they said they're not gonna advance. So they want to keep drawing the fire to the south, make them think they're being held. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of flank so action. So Darman advances and gets down as he tries to. He sure does. There's a lot of insurgents spread out in there. Yes, they, they have a lot of these buildings occupied. Oh, Odessa goes down. That's our squad lead down. Whip, dab, kill me. Dermoplast and Fulcrum alive on that southern Three guys push, left on that south it. side. Let's see how this eastern push works. There's only one squad leader up. All right, they're taking shots. Dish Kateki staring them down. Open fields to cross. Legit gamer and bird person are on the north. Push it in though. They have cover that they can use. Down here on the south, they're getting a little nervous. The couple of survivors, Whip, Dab, Kill Me, Dermoplast, and Fulcrum, put out some smokes, and there's a lot of people immediately calling smokes coming out, thinking nice that there might have been a push. Shot coming out. Yeah. Let's see what happens. He overshot. Bummer. Unfortunate. He's going to take another shot. Here he goes. Oh, he hit her that time. <laughs> and it blows. Good Midori shot. saying, go, clear, hit, go. Absolutely. Good job, bird person. So that should. Now that took out most of their technicals. Evan, Evan. Clear hit here. Just holding this corner of the building. 
He's going to try to be one of these inside defenders that you can see here. We'll see how he does. If you're rooting for clear hit, root for him to hold this corner. That's his job at this point. This door, this is his life. <laughs> There's only a couple insurgents looking east, so the U.S. have a full squad coming. That could really turn the tables. Oh. Kills-wise, we're pretty close. The insurgents have a couple more. Fulcrum went down on the south, I believe, and... That leaves just Dermaplast on the south. That's it. I think Wind Dab kills oh, no, still up two. on the list. Yeah. Whip Dab kills. Dermaplast and Fulcrum. Dermaplast and Fulcrum are left. It was Whip Dab Kill Me that Oh no, Whip Dab Kill Me moved up. You know what? Somebody got shot though, I believe. Somebody was bleeding. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Meantime, Satan's got his guys that pushed up pretty far. Actually in good position to move in. There goes a GL. It was a smoke. He's marking enemies. He shot it right at Jackal Purcell. Carpy is laying down the saw fire, making sure they don't poke their heads up. Juke in the box saying, hey to everybody. Good to see you, Juke in the box. Glad to have you. Ooh, good grenade. Did some damage. There goes another. Not too effective, but they are keeping them suppressed. The U.S. are still moving in. It's a little push on the southwest. They're kind of just moving building to building, trying to see what they can do. The insurgents are pushing back, trying to get themselves into some better positions here. Michael Frost and SM Pure Paradise trying to lock down this angle. See if they can. Let's see. Boogie pushing out a little bit as well. Pure sees these guys on the west, takes some shots at them. Evan SMA putting in some shots as well. See if they're able to hold this. There's only three people over here, but you can, you'd be surprised how often three people can do a whole lot of work. <laughs> Especially when they go, for the most part, unnoticed. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're pushing closer from the east. Evan SMA just kind of covering here. He's about to see Fulcrum if he peeks this corner. Nope, Fulcrum moves into right. the buildings. Finally got a little command chat going on here. Uh, Fulcrum's talking to Satan now. At least they're talking. They're just wondering what each other's doing. Pushing from oh, the outside Jackal Pascal and... gets taken down. That was a good little shot. I believe that was from Satan's squad there. Yeah, I'm not sure who it was, but they got him. Yep. So the insurgents have kind of just whittled themselves down into these two buildings, and they're just going to try to hold them out. That's what it seems like to me. We're pretty even as far as kills. Not bad. The only way they can get up yeah, this is good. There's two, it looks like almost two full squads or two partial squads for the insurgents left. The U.S. have most of Satan's squad and... Oh, Fulcrum gets one tapped. Down goes Boogie taking Whip two killing. out. Whip. Yeah, Boogie got both of them. Great shots from him. TDC Boogie 5. Maybe Boogies. Might be Boogies. Doing well. Pure, was my best Pure gets taken out. That's Evan Satan. was mourning his loss and dies as well. <laughs> oh, man. Good shooting by Satan. He's catching him off guard. He took out a couple. In the meantime, XF is pushing in. And, and Carpy. Kahuna goes down. Red's gonna, is Red going to peek? I don't know. XF that might be a bad choice. Oh, he's throwing a nade in. Insurgents move. The nade goes off. Carpy's right there in the do in the window, ready to shoot. Jack Reynolds gets tagged by that nade, but he's able to bandage himself up. Carpy's nade. Carpy reloads. XF is chilling out, watching the doors. Me and Styles pushing in. Satan, Chappie, and Mooney are also near in the near area. Dermoplast, the only U.S. soldier left on the west side. A lot of U.S. left, though, and the insurgents have had a rough time defending this village. Oh. Carpy goes down. I'm not quite sure who got him. I think it was clear hit. Yeah, I think so. Oh, clear, clear hit, hit goes, goes down. down. That was. I think XF got him. Yeah. He made a good, good run, battery. Good run. 
just didn't quite make it the whole way. He did good. He got a kill. Oh, yeah. That's all you can ask for. That's breaking even if you go down. More Sawfire. Let's back up. Looks like the U.S. are picking them apart with this CQC here. Yeah, more insurgents go down. Red's still alive. XF. We got Jack Reynolds, S. Klein, and Red. Oh, we've got one guy holding this here. It's this little doorway. That was Red. XF pushed up here. Oh, oh, they dropped oh, Klein and... The back blast killed him, I think. Jack, your guy went oh, Jack no. I think Jack Reynolds just teamed Yeah, he did. Oh, back blast. Oh, that wasn't even back no. blast. That was a complete accident. Oh, Boogies goes down on the north. He was the only one left up there. And now, I oh, believe we are... Be US are we last man? No, we have two. There's Red and Jack Reynolds for the insurgents. What have we got for the U.S.? Satan, Dermoplast, Bird Person... And Mooney? So yeah, four on two. Like there might be somebody there. Five. On five, two. On two. five on two. Five on two. Five on two. Yeah, that window straight. Yep. Mooney, Satan, Bird Person, Dermoplast, and Legit Gamer. Still all up. Where's Legit Gamer? Uh he's with the other three that are on the north side. Running around there. Nay. Oh. Yeah, bird person, dermoplast, and legit gamer are all yep, together okay. there. He's up still, nice. Jack Reynolds, I think, just got tapped. All right, we're down to the last man. It's red. Nope, nope. Jack Reynolds is still up. Never mind. Oh, is he? Yeah, he he took some shots, oh, yes, but he he's okay. Red is just holding his little door. Reynolds taking shots through. Oh, Did he just go down? Nope, he just proned. Oh, there he oh, goes down. Satan he just gets got tapped. Him the window. And that's red. Red is your last man Comes standing. Red. Big red. Oh, man. Rough. Red trying to hold this little doorway. He better hope his feetsies aren't sticking through the wall there. They might give his position away. You guys are still just systematically clearing buildings. And with, you with know, their small forces they've got left. That shows you, though, you take out those two fobs, that's not the end of it. You still need to defend the village, and they have not been able to do that. <laughs> God damn it. You know, good work by the U.S., a lot of kills getting spread out. Uh, early on, it was Game Master Me and PK Ton with a bunch of kills. That was probably holding the first push. And it was great to see them working together clear up until the end with Odessa squad holding down the south and kind uh, of acting as a distraction while Satan's squad pushed in from the east, which was relatively soft and undefended. Oh, yeah. it's This is good. I'm excited to see how this, this went. a good round. Next round will be good, too. This is awesome. I love these close Oh, yeah. Ones. Yeah, that's... <laughs> just thinking about that we've only seen half the action tonight we got another round coming up after this one's over we'll take a little break and then we'll go into a second round yeah the US are still slowly clearing they're getting reminded they have to clear the village but they've got guys moving they've got legit gamer bird person and dermoplast all walking around Absolutely. they're about to push into the last building with red in it Oh yeah, they're coming in from the other side. Red Red isn't defending from that side. And Red is actually is he a scout? No, he's not. No, no he's, he's a, got the uh yeah. he's a I think a medic or a rocket. Probably yeah, an RPG, I'm not lat. sure. Yeah. Some shots coming in. Oh, shit. <laughs> Red losing Where's his mind going? a little bit. Oh, here they come. All right, Bring we're going to watch the Bird corner. Person beat this and end the game. Here it comes. Oh! Red gets him. Red pulls, he his pulls pistol out, out his pistol. And down and he goes. That's good game. Legit gamer got GG. the last kill. Great job.
Good game, good round. Round one, Operation Stampede. This is Love squad to see ops, it. one life event. And that was our first We're gonna round. Roll the we map. got another one. Yeah, that was a big full one too. We're gonna have another full round. Good job by Xbit and Nasty Nate. The commands came down to a nail biter. Well executed early on by the insurgents. Love to see it. Really good work on the first two fobs. Great work there. It's just that village hold was uh, it's hard. It's hard. The U.S. Yeah, were there, I think, before they could get a little that? bit more comfortable <laughs> and settled in. The U.S. were pushing in, you know, yep. slinging lead at them, keeping them on their toes and nervous. And that's a good way to do it. That's how you got to do it. So I think with that, we're going to take a little break while they get set up here. And then we'll get into the next one. So we will be back after that. Yeah, we'll roll the map, go to the bathroom, call your moms. You know how it is. <laughs> we'll see you in just a couple minutes. We'll stick around and chat, answer questions if you have them there.